Now, every year, hundreds of workers suffer horrific injuries in forklift truck accidents. Last year alone, 10 people were killed. Now, there are many areas in the Midlands where you're most likely to have a major accident involving a forklift truck, and Birmingham is at the very top of the list. Today marks the start of Forklift Safety Week, a campaign to raise awareness about the dangers the vehicles can pose. Rajiv Popat reports. In the UK, 100,000 businesses use forklift trucks. Two million people work with or near them. At least one person a week is seriously injured by one of these. Lisa Ramos from Kirkby Woodhouse in Nottinghamshire used to work at a haulage firm in Derbyshire. That was until a forklift truck backed into her and crushed her left leg six years ago. It was amputated below the knee as a result. I can't walk for long distances because I get out of breath. People don't necessarily know that I've got a false leg, but obviously the, because I limp, you can tell that I'm disabled. I'm very, very lucky because if you think about it, if you've got something that weighs three tonne, you're lucky if you do come away uh, with your life. A week-long safety campaign by the Forklift Truck Association got underway today. They say five to ten people are killed by the UK's 300,000 forklift trucks every year. The association published a report which shows that four areas in the Midlands feature in the nation's ten worst accident hotspots. Birmingham tops the list, with Sandwell, Walsall and Northampton in the unenviable position of being in the top ten. National Safety Week is all about raising awareness. It's about raising awareness for pedestrians so that they are always observant when, when they're operating around forklift trucks. It's the wearing of high-vis vests so that you're more visible. It is carrying out proper risk assessments in the workplace so that the possibility of, a, of an accident taking place is eliminated or is, is eliminated as far as it is possible to do. The company Lisa worked for was fined £20,000 for breaching safety regulations. She believes firms should adopt shock tactics when training their staff. When they're doing these inductions, they're boring. Instead of showing them um, videos that look fake, where people are in accidents, they should be showing them graphic pictures where people have had serious accidents, with, you know, where they've been run over by a forklift or whatever. The Forklift Truck Association says better training will save lives and limbs. Rajiv Poppert for Central Tonight. Still to come.